So first off, go to VCV section um, in your menu and you can find MIDI map and MIDI CV. Uh, you can also find it in the MIDI section as well. So load in your MIDI CV and your uh, MIDI map and go core MIDI electron digitact and then you can either pick all channels or single channels. For this demonstration I've gone all channels because I want to be able to sequence the same sound up to eight different times pretty much. And then you can also map eight different LFOs to different parameters that you've um, got on your MIDI map, which is quite cool. I'll explain that further on in the video. So in your MIDI map section, you'll have channel one. And if you click on here, the first uh, knob you'll press will automatically map the audio, uh, sorry, map the information to the knob on the DigiTac. So now, as you can see, I've just mapped the filter. And now I can use the filter on the DigiTac. Now I'm mapping the resonance. And now I can also map the resonance to the DigiTact just by using the MIDI maps. Yeah, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and start mapping some more parameters. Head up to Supercell. Again, all this software is completely free. I highly recommend getting it. It's just so much fun. So now I've mapped some of the parameters, um, you can actually go into LFO and map the parameters to the LFO under CC sends. This is really cool, um, super cool when you connect it to like a filter or something like or a delay. It is still a bit buggy, um, as you'll see here. This is actually another reason why I have um, all the MIDI channels available for use for this single sound because you can then map it on an LFO eight different times which is, as you can imagine would just create some insane sounds on top of what this digital virtual modular rack is already capable of. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe and leave a comment.